Hey guys, Jedidar Tan, aka Jed here, and welcome to Rider Critique. So this is basically a series of videos where I take my snowboard students and take some footage that they've recorded doing a 360, a 50-50, board slide, whatever the trick is. Then I point out where they can improve, what things they're doing right, what things they're doing wrong. And basically by looking at what other people are doing and where they can fix their riding, I find a lot of people make the same mistakes. So you'll be able to say, hey, I'm making that same mistake with my spinning. This is why I don't get enough rotation in my spin. This is why I fall when I try to do a frontside board slide. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the riding critique. All right, hey guys, so let's jump into the video analysis. So the first rider we're going to look at today is a student called Ryan. So he sent in this video in my VIP members area and basically he wants me to look at his 360s and his 540s. I think he's doing them front side today. So yeah, front side 360s, front side 540s. Let's see what he's doing and where he can improve. So I've already had a look, quick look through his video and some of the angles weren't that great. So I picked the good ones to show you guys and the good ones to comment on. So here he's doing a front side 360. So first I'll play it once and you guys can watch it and see what's happening and where he can go wrong maybe. And then I'll replay it and point it out myself. All right, so he's approaching the jump, carving. Here he sets up, there's his front side 360. Okay, so it doesn't quite land it. So now let's look at what's going wrong here and what he can improve. So now obviously, if you're not landing a trick, there's probably a hundred things you can be improving. I mean, even with a pro snowboarder, there's a hundred things you can be doing. No one's perfect, right? But the key to improving is always to focus on one or two or, or even three main things. Just focus on small th things step by step that you can improve. If you're trying to focus on too many things, then you know, you're just not going to see improvement. Focus on key things that will really give you improvement, okay? So the first thing I want to point out here is angle. So the one thing Ryan mentioned to me when he sent this video in is that he's having road trouble sometimes with getting his um, spin rotation right. He's finding like sometimes he doesn't get enough rotation and it, it has to force it with his upper body a bit. So let's see why he's not getting enough rotation. Now, with any spin, you should be coming in at an angle, usually for any 360 and above is usually where I say, you really wanna be start working with your carving angles when you approach jump. Because basically if we look here, okay, well I got my little freestyle max, but if we look at the riding in this video, you see that what's going on here is he's approaching at an angle at 20, five seconds. So here you can see he's approaching at an angle. So he's coming in at a jump. Let's say jump is straight in front of me. He's coming in at an angle, right? Which is correct because for any jump, you want to carve for that spin. So he's got to come in at an angle so that when he carves, it doesn't send his whole line off. So he's approaching at an angle and then he's going to carve, pop, spin his 360. But what's going on here is look here at 25 seconds into this video, he's got his angle, okay, so he's coming in at an angle. But 26, 27, look, 27 seconds in, his angle is completely gone, but he's not leaving the jump yet. So if you're carving into the jump and you haven't finished your spinning and initiating the trick, and, and you're not leaving the jump yet basically, and your angle of approach is gone, so you're just riding in a straight line, that means you're going too early. So this is a super common, I probably see it in nine out of 10 spin videos that I look at when I'm looking over students footage is that people tend to have a habit of coming in with the right angle at first, okay? But then they'll, they'll just initiate and start things too early and by the time they're actually going off the jump, they're just going in a straight line. So if you're just riding off in a straight line, you've lost all your spin power from your carving. So what he just needs to do here is at basically, okay, at around 24, yeah, around this 24, 25 mark, he shouldn't be doing this until he's basically going uphill on the takeoff of the jump. So if, if basically we just move him down a bit before he started that final carve, all his techniques right, it's just we gotta m delay it, move it down a little bit because he's doing everything a little bit too early. So right around here. Okay, so right around here is when he should actually be canceling out his carve line and rotating 
and carving up the jump. See, so what he did was he just did it too early, and by the time he was at the jump, most of his spin power was gone from his carve. So it's just a simple matter of delaying his carve a little bit in this case, and he should have more carving power right there. So as as far as um when you should delay it until the general rule is. Okay, so how do I explain this? Well, okay, a jump, you've got the um, drop in, then you have the takeoff here. And in between, you've got this little flat section. So usually around this flat, flat section in the middle, and as you're about to take off up the uphill section of the takeoff ramp, so once it starts sloping uphill and you're going up the ramp, that's usually when you want to be releasing that final carve and basically doing your whole spin motion. So up until that point, you should be still coming in at that angle, okay? If you're going in straight, that means you've canceled out your final carve too early and, and you're just, you gotta delay your timing a bit. Hold off on that final carve and make sure you actually come in on that final carve at a nice angle so that you get that spin power when you spin, all right? Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is, is a pretty basic one with a front side 360. It's a blind landing, so that just means so if you're doing a front side uh, 360, so you spin, you wanna be looking back up the hill when you land. And I'll show you why. So I'll demonstrate it now. You, you guys can just, I guess, look at me doing it. But um, yeah, so you see my upper body. Okay, so what's you're gonna see is what will happen if I'm looking forward during a front side 360 and looking backward during our front side 360. So I'll just walk it through. So here's a really helpful thing with spins. Always try to understand where you need to be looking at the landing or at the takeoff or, or basically where you need to be looking to land correctly. You wanna know that before you do any spin. So for front side 360s, uh, in my head, I'm already thinking, okay, I gotta land looking back up the hill at the, land, at the takeoff of the jump, basically. If you're looking back up the hill, then it's a blind landing. So here's what's happening. So the first one is I'll show you what he's doing with the front side 360. See, so what happens is if you look forward at the end of your front side 360, um, basically your body's gonna over rotate. That's why you see here, if we play the video, he's gonna over rotate. So he lands and look where he's looking. He's looking back down the hill and his board keeps rotating, his whole body keeps rotating, the spin basically doesn't stop. So what happens here is that his upper body and his head, did not stopping the rotation. But look, at this is what he should be doing. See, so if I'm looking back up the hill at the end of a front side 360, watch my shoulders. See, my head's going to stop my shoulders from being able to keep rotating and that's why it's called a blind landing and that's why you want to look back uphill. See, so watch, watch my head here, see? As long as I'm looking back uphill, my, the rest of my body can't rotate, continue rotating, unless literally unless I break my neck and on, take my whole head off, right? So there's no way for your body to keep rotating and that is basically what helps you stop that rotation, okay? So that's the second thing we're gonna point out and I'm just gonna grab my chair again. Okay, so now let's watch his front side 540 attempt and I'll just point out one main thing he can be working on for his front side 540s. So first let's watch it through one time and then we'll see what we can say about it. Okay, so the main thing here is, well, the main thing I think he should be working on here, because I mean, we pointed out all the other things with carving and all of that, but the main thing here is, you notice his body positioning in the air isn't great. So let's see if we can slow this down. Go half speed. Okay, so watch his body position after he's initiated the spin and everything's happening in the air. See, his body is almost fighting against the 540. You know, there's all that hand moving, everything's out of sync. And if you notice here, right when he's taking off, 
Okay, see right here, his, his body position is fine. He's leading the spin with his upper body, which is what I always teach with any spin off a jump, is you lead with your upper body. Okay, so let's get my freestyle max here. So you lead with your upper body and the board follows. So through the entire spin, pretty much until you're landing, you're, you're leading the entire thing with your upper body because where your upper body is leading, your lower body is going to keep following. So at the start of the spin, his upper body is leading exactly like it should. But let's watch what happens as it continues. See, so as it continues, that whole lead is completely gone. You know, the, his hands in front here, things, there's no more leading with the upper body. So what he simply needs to do is keep leading with that upper body right until he spots that landing. And then he can stop leading. And just like with our front side 360, when you stop your head and your upper body at the right time, it will stop the rest of your rotation. So with a front side 540, let's think about where should you be spotting the landing? Okay, so if a front side 180, you can look downhill. Front side 360, you look back uphill to land. Front side 540, you look back downhill to land. So let's have a look. I'll, I'll demonstrate it again for you guys and I'll point out where I'm looking at the end of the trick. So I'm going to lead with my upper body through the whole spin and then at the end, I'll release that lead just when I need to start prepping to land and stop that rotation. Okay, so as you saw, I led the spin with my whole upper body right until the end. Then I started releasing it and spotting the landing with my head. And you notice, okay, so we'll demonstrate it with Freestyle Max. So lead with your upper body, so he's spinning. Okay, here comes a 360, but now he can look downhill again. And his body will keep spinning the last 180, but his head will keep looking downhill as he lands. So for that last 180 of the 540 rotation, you look downhill, and because your head is looking downhill, it stops the rest of your body from continuing rotating past 540. So you notice with a lot of these spins, that that landing is so crucial, just spotting it in the right direction. It helps so much with stopping your rotation. So I think that's those are the main things. That's plenty for him to work on. So I hope you guys found this episode useful and, and I guess, instructional. So we'll see you guys in the next episode of... I guess, ride a critique. All right, take care. All right, so if this type of riding and video analysis is something you'd be interested in getting yourself, so say you want me to look at your riding videos and say, this is what you're doing wrong, this is where you can improve, this is why you're not getting the rotation here or whatever your problem may be, then you can get started with our free Snowboard Trick Secrets program here. You can check it out. There's a few free videos for you to watch and get started with Snowboard Freestyle. All right, so take care, and I hope to see you guys inside the program.